hello welcome to another video today i'm going to be doing a kitting up of this diamond painting um i got this from um saner direct on amazon this was a part of a product review but it was a four pack and i think i don't know if it was four dollars each or maybe 425 each when you divide it by four um so this is a 25 by 35 with poured glue square drills that do have DMCs and there are 30 colors in all. And so here is the canvas. Um, I'm hoping it'll turn out. I did this previously from fan cells as a 40 by 50 and in round drills and I was really unhappy with the results. So I'm hoping this will turn out better. But we'll see. It is smaller, but it is square drills and it's from a different company. So I'm, it would be a nice comparison to do. So here is the original image. So I'm going to put that off to the side. So yeah, I am going to kit them up um, using, um, what do you call these? The sauce packet containers for, you know, sauce. Like you get like, if you go to a Mexican restaurant, you they put the salsa in this. Um, I'm doing it in this container mainly because I figured why not and this is my first um, storage container ever from when I started diamond painting so yeah and plus yeah sometimes it's just fun to change up how you kit up so so yeah let's see and I, oh, I hit my so I'm going to use the nifty blue tray that came with the Saner Direct um, to kit up. And it does come with an inventory sheet. So I'm going to use these to make the labels. So I'm just going to cut this out to use to make the labels. And I'll put it through my sticker maker. I should, I should have gotten my paper trimmer, but eh, I already started cutting. So, so it does look like they're not in alphabetical order. So what is good about these containers is they are separate. So I can put them in alphabetical order afterwards. Um, so yeah, I do have my Xyron sticker maker here. Um, so I'm just going to hold it in the center so that it doesn't veer off to the side because I've had that happen before. Um, it is, there you go. So I've had, I've been diamond painting for a year already and I have yet to replace this. There still seems to be a good chunk of it left, but I've, I haven't done that many diamond paintings that come with this um, inventory sheet to do this. I wish more of them did come with the inventory sheet, but I haven't. Oop. Did I not press this in well? Um, watch, I'm doing this and it's like not working. Is this not sticky? I know it is. I don't know. I don't know what was up with that. So now I'm just going to cut them into individual labels, but not cut all the way to the edge so that I have a place to peel from and I don't have these in like 50 million different pieces. So I've actually pondered whether I should just get like my blade and just do this using um, a blade instead of cutting it. I don't know which would be easier, which would be faster. but I haven't actually had to use my sticker maker in a while, so I'm kind of rusty at this whole cutting this thing for whatever reason, I don't know. Because I normally scan the legend, but you know, I cut those too, I don't know. Okay, so now I have the labels all cut up, so I do have a bunch of the sauce packets and I have a bunch of the lids here. So first let's find number one. So you know what I've been finding when I do these product reviews, 
I actually don't end up doing inventory on my drills, which I should. Um, but I guess it's a little like it, you, you treat it differently because I don't know, you didn't pay for them. But yeah, um, this, so this was my first storage um, that I got when I was diamond painting. I was able to buy 250 of these um, sauce packets for like less than five dollars. Um, so like, okay, so I started diamond painting in May 2020. It is now, hey, May 2021, so it's been about a year since I started diamond painting. So, but I started diamond painting during the pandemic um, because it was my hobby, my pandemic hobby. Um, so then I ordered my first diamond. I found out about diamond painting probably mid-April. And I I made an, an order for a diamond painting in Amazon in mid mid-April. And, and back then, it actually took two to three weeks for anything from Amazon to be delivered. So meanwhile, I was locked down. I had nothing to do. So what did I do? I watched a whole bunch of YouTube videos about, um, I watched a whole bunch of YouTube videos about diamond painting. So, so while I was watching them, I, I was like, ooh, there's a whole storage organization portion of it. So I watched, I think the YouTube video I watched about um, different storage options was done by Natalia in Lovecraft Forever. She did, she did a video where she showed a bunch of storage options and one of them was the sauce containers. And I was like, hey, I could do that. Um, because all like Amazon was so slow and during the pandemic Amazon also all the prices were very very inflated so like storage containers were way more expensive than they are now storage containers are actually relatively cheap now compared to back then um so so then and then plus you know it took like the two three weeks so I was kind of afraid my diamond painting would come before the storage came. So I did have a restaurant supply store um, near me. And, pl and plus, since I guess it's considered an essential business because it's providing food, they were open during the lockdown. So I went, I went to the restaurant supply store. I did buy, I, I did um, stock up on stuff. So I bought, what did I buy? I think I bought like some meat, I bought like rice, things like that wouldn't go bad really quickly. Um, and I think I bought a bunch of napkins because everyone was kind of going crazy about the toilet paper. So I thought napkins would would go away also. Um, I didn't understand the toilet paper frenzy, but um, yeah, I, I bought napkins, which were also very expensive. The napkins were, <laughs> I don't like, and I mean, just like, you know, the napkin that you use after while you're eating dinner or something not yeah sanitary napkins but yeah no I, I bought like napkins and then I saw these um I was like hey look they're on sale so then so then I bought these so, so I don't even think I went to the restaurant supply store I don't even recall anymore I don't I don't think I went to the restaurant supply store intending to buy these sauce packets I actually went because they were talking about meat shortages, meat, meat shortage, man, why can't I speak? Um, meat shortages because of the pandemic and how meat processing plants were like closing down. So I was like, okay, I need to stock up on like supplies. So yeah, I went, I went to the restaurant supply store um, because I, I go there, I, I, I do normally actually go there to buy usually like ribs that you would use to like pork ribs that you would use to make um, barbecue. Um, but then I also ended up buying, um, I don't even remember what meat I bought, but you could buy like 20 pound pack, massive packs of meat from um, restaurant supply stores, but they only had a one pack per customer limit. So 
I don't even remember what I bought. Did I, I either bought, I either bought a massive <laughs> amount of beef or I bought a massive amount of pork. Um, and then when I got home, I just cut them up into more manageable sizes and froze them. Um, but yeah, no, I went, I went there thinking I was gonna have to stock up. So I stocked up on like meat. I bought rice. I was gonna buy flour too, but, um, apparently that was something that was like an endangered, like quant, like thing during the pandemic. Cause they didn't have any flour. Um, <laughs> Which was probably good that I didn't bake things and I, you know, during the pandemic, everyone like gained weight because everyone was like baking. Um, so it was probably good that I couldn't buy the flour. Um, so I didn't, you know, end up binge eating on, I don't know what I would have ended up making. Um, but, but yeah, no, so, so then apparently these were on sale because the t at the time since this was before may it was on sale because it was on sale for cinco de mayo which is um well it pretty much says it it's may 5 um and and since these are used for salsa these were like i don't even remember how much on sale but they were on sale so i was able to get 250 of them for less than five dollars so if you know, if I didn't start getting fancy in my whole diamond painting storage, these are perfectly fine to diamond paint. I mean, these are super, super cheap. Um, the only thing I don't like about them is that they do take up a lot of space. And until I find like a storage container that will hold these well, they, yeah, there's no, there's no storage thing for it. No lid. Um, and since I am a serial starter, I do kind of like to have things with a lid so that I could put it away if I'm not working on it. But I am actually planning to work on this next. So this is my next diamond painting that I'm planning to work on. Um, mainly because when I get these product reviews, I want to at least finish one diamond painting from the company and show the finish because I don't think a product review is complete until an actual finish is done. So, um, so since this is the first, well, it's not the first Saner Direct diamond painting I've done, but it's the first square that I've done. And plus, um, it seems like they've blinged up their canvas. So, um, I don't know if it's for the better or for the worse, but we'll see. So, so I do plan to, this is the next diamond painting I'm planning to work on. Um, so. So yeah, that's why I was like, okay, even if um, this does take up a lot of space, I do plan to do this next. So, um, so I don't need to like store it away somewhere. Does that make sense? So three, eight, six, five. And hey, you know, um, kidding up in these sauce containers are actually, it's actually very easy to do it in these because they're huge. They actually could hold a good chunk. I don't even know if any of these are a lot. I don't think so. But if one of these were a lot, I don't know if this is bigger or smaller than the Harbor Freight containers, but they do hold a lot. And I do really like them. They're easy to use. They're easy to close. And if you break it, you're not crying because seriously, I have 250 of them. Oops, did I not cut this all the way? I have 250 of them. <laughs> so, so, but I've... So I, I've kind of stopped using these storage containers just because of the size, but I still do use them for trash. So um, if you're new to diamond painting and don't know what I'm talking about, um, it's a good idea to keep a little bin, little like container next to you while you're diamond painting. So you could throw out any of the drills that are tra oh, trashy. Mo ma mainly most of my trash drills are just the wrong color in a diamond painting. Um, in like, cause sometimes there's a wrong color, especially in these strip containers, um, depending on when it got sealed, you might have one of the colors on both sides in there. So most of my trash is that, or just random pieces of plastic. So, um, that didn't get sifted out or, um, or, you know, just drills that are just not cut well. So they don't, yeah. 
So I've been using these mainly for my trash container. I actually ended up um, like leaving the lid on but just cutting a piece here because so that when it falls over like that, it still stays in there instead of falling out. Yeah. So this is what I use. Oh, wait, did I mess up? This is why 3726. So why doesn't this one have a label? Okay, wait, this is 3726. This is 3727. Hey, momentary mess up there. I should just not talk while kidding up. <laughs> so yeah, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Yeah, what am I talking about? I have no idea what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh yeah, so I've been using these as my trash containers um, because I do keep one for, since I'm, I do work on more than one diamond painting at a time, I do keep one of these her diamond painting that I'm working on. I do kind of, I, I do kind of put like a little label at the top so that I know which one it is. And I will show it in my review if, if the amount of trash is worth talking about. Like, um, like if, if it's just the normal amount of trash as in, you know, like if you've been diamond painting for a while, you, you will just get a sense of how much is just the normal amount of trash. Um, if, I, if it is like that, I, I don't bother showing it. But if if I'm done working on it and I am like full, like I have this thing massively full, then yeah, it is worth talking about. So, um, but yeah, if you are new to diamond painting, I do recommend just keeping some sort of small container next to your diamond painting um, next to where you're diamond painting to put in the trashy drills. Um, yeah, usually my trashy drills are really just extras somewhere that were the wrong color or, you know, the random drill that you find like when you're doing a different color and you're like, oh, that must have fallen out at some point somewhere else. Uh, so 3836. Okay. So, oh, I need, so yeah, my, they came in like these kind of things from the restaurant supply store. So yeah, I think I took, I usually have these, I usually have like 30 of these just like in a pile somewhere and I must've used, I must've used them for my trash. So that's why I must've gotten another one for the trash. So now I'm like, okay, let me get some more from my actual unused. So I, I haven't even, op so these came with 250, but I haven't even opened the other half. So this is just the first 125. And I've actually given away a bunch of these to people who at my work, who, who was like wanting to try diamond painting. And, and I'm like, I could give you some <laughs> little storage containers and these are great if you don't know that you're going to diamond paint for a long time. Like if you don't know that diamond painting is your thing or storage is not really your thing, these are nice, cheap ways of kidding up. Well, nowadays, like after the pandemic, I mean, the pandemic is still going on, but um, shipping and things like that isn't as horrible as it was back then. Um, after after things got normal-ish, closer to normal, or is, is anything normal yet? Um, after after things were not priced overpriced on Amazon, you could get storage for really cheap, like just those twenty eight um, containers, the twenty eight drill container things. You could get those for like two dollars. So so yeah, there it is. I'm finished. Um, it's all kitted up here. Isn't it actually really pretty kitted up in this? Oh, and you, if you can't tell, this is just an egg carton. Um, I got this from when you buy five dozen eggs, half of the five dozen is the 30. So I actually have two of these. Well, you know, I've accumulated a little bit more, but 
But yeah, here it is. All right. Thank you for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye.